Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the December Storyteller Forecast for Capricorn. So if your rising sign is Capricorn or your sun sign is Capricorn, then this video is for you. I was wondering how Mercury Retrograde um, might affect my trying to upload these videos, and I'm seeing the ways that that's happening. Um, I lost the video for my Capricorn report, but then I, I had audio saved. So, rather than redo it, I'm going to play um, it for you, and it might sound a little echoey. I apologize for that, um, but it still should be clear enough that you should you can understand it, and I'm um, pretty sure it won't happen next month. I'm doing the best I can with these technological things. So, here is your forecast. Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller horoscope for December for Capricorn. So if Capricorn is your rising sign or Capricorn is your sun sign, then this is for you. By now, I'm sure you've been feeling um, the effects of the eclipses. Uh, we talked about that more in November's horoscope, and I will touch on it a little bit. But I do want to talk about some other things first. Um, Venus is about to be moving through your 11th house. And wherever Venus goes, it brings charm, and it can bring money. Um, it can even help you do look better, which is really fun. Um, so it's a really great time to circulate, um, which is fun for the holidays. So if you're invited to parties and you wouldn't usually be inclined to go to them, then it would be a good idea to go because you could meet a person of, um, that you could get into a romantic relationship of some sort with. You could um, meet someone who uh, could be a business partner in the future or offer you some kind of work. Or if it's happening at the end of November here, I'm not sure when you're watching this, but while Mercury's in retrograde in November, it could bring someone back from your past that you could decide to move forward on a relationship again with, um, or an acquaintance or someone that you met in the past you could meet and then form a romantic relationship with them. A lot of this um, can be activated through friends. So um, even if you're home, someone, a friend could call you and invite you someplace. Um, I say go. That's the best I can say. It's hard to tell what's going to happen. I can't see your chart, but there's really good energy for you to be out circulating. Um, and also taking seriously uh, possible business and work and money connections that you make through being out, through social media. It's a really great time for social media for you. So if you've been thinking about doing that, then December would be a really great time to launch Facebook, Twitter, YouTube videos, um, new websites, new products, especially around December 13th for launching things. Many of you will have, um, from the solar eclipse, have new work or new job or new life purpose. You may have switched careers. You may have started a new job. Um, or a new freelance project. If that's the case, then great. If it hasn't shown up yet, then it still could sometime in December. Um, Mars has been going through your first house, through part of November, and it will continue through the whole month of December. Whenever Mars is in your first house, you have a tremendous amount of additional physical acts of physical energy. Now, if you've got problems with your diet, problems with your health, this transit gets you access to um, solutions and also access to impetus to do something different because you know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing you've always done and expecting the, a different result. Now is the time for you to consider really taking action on things you think about. So in December, launching a new diet, a new um, physical routine, exercise, anything like that. Um, and it could be very um, extreme, which, of course, I'm not a doctor. I can't recommend anything regarding your diet. I don't know what your personal situation is. But astrologically, if you wanted to do something like convert to a you know, mostly raw diet or something that has some level of extreme nature compared to what you're used to, then you'll have a lot of good energy around that for you in December. The sun is going to be a good transit in your 12th house, which can increase your dream activity and um, can also help you to have insights from your dreams. So they could be very productive dreams, not just strange dreams, especially if you use them that way. If you pose a question to your subconscious before you go to sleep, you could wake up in the morning with a solution or an idea, and then you could take action on it. 
So it's a really great time for that if you're inclined at all to involve doing your dream world. We've got really good energy around that. While Mercury um, is in retrograde, or by the time you watch this, was in retrograde for November, um, you may have been reconsidering your friends or groups, uh, people that you spend time with. If that's the case and you're thinking about making a decision about changing some of your circles, Unless there's some precipitating events in November, wait until December because you may change your mind and um, we don't want you to make a decision about it um, and create problems where they don't need to be. So it's just a little tidbit to consider if, if that's going on for you. I can't see everything in your chart. Um, I can't see anything in your natal chart. I highly recommend a personal reading with me. If you sign up for my newsletter through the link below this video, um, you'll get a $15 off coupon for a personal reading with me, which can be done um, wherever you are in the world. And um, I highly recommend that. So if you have any questions or any other ways I can be of assistance through you, to you astrologically, um, you can contact me. And I hope you have a wonderful December.